standing here at the end of the Duke of Gloucester Street in Williamsburg, Virginia on the morning of October 21st, 2009. This is the main street looking down here of Colonial Williamsburg and I've just been uh, doing some reading on it that uh, Colonial Williamsburg actually the original colonial buildings, many of them date back to the 1600s particularly the late 1600s and early 1700s when uh, Williamsburg was the colonial capital of the colony of Virginia um, all, but later on, uh, from the 1800s and onwards, the uh, town sort of uh, experienced a major decline because the capital had moved away to Richmond, Virginia, and many of the stately uh, colonial buildings started to fall into disrepair, and it wasn't until the ni late 1920s, early 1930s, um, that a local reverend, I think his name was Dr. Goodwin, um, really started to get concerned about the state of the historical buildings in Williamsburg. And he contacted a number of people, including John D. Rockefeller Jr., who was one of the heirs to the Standard Oil Empire. And he got him interested in the cause of architectural preservation. And I think um, quite a few hundred sort of 19th century era buildings were raised at that time to rebuild um, I think about 500 colonial era structures and 88 of them are still original. Now in this direction where I'm headed right now is another one of the famous historical buildings of Williamsburg, Virginia. Straight ahead of me is the Wren Building, the Sir Christopher Wren Building, named after the uh, British architect of the 1600s. This is a statue here of Norborn Berkeley, Baron of Botour, Governor of the Colony of Virginia, 1768 to 1770, respected friend of the students and faculty of the college. So. Um, straight of ahead of me, as I said, is the C Sir Christopher Wren building, which is the oldest continuously um, operating university building in the United States. Um, the original uh, Wren building, I think, dates back to the late 1600s, 1693 actually. The weather vane on top of the uh, clock tower here actually indicates 1693 and um, it was it burnt down several times and was rebuilt several times including uh, a restoration uh, with the support of John D. Rockefeller in the 1930s. Let me show you I finally located the information about this building erected 1695 to 1699 the oldest, co oldest college building in the United States. This edifice, according to an 18th century author, was first modeled by Sir Christopher Wren, ad adapted to the nature of the country by the gentlemen there. The first building at the College of William and Mary. It has survived two wars and three fires and today continues in use by the faculty and students of the college. It was restored in 19, can hardly read that, 28 to 31 through the generosity of John D. Rockefeller Jr. So that is the Sir Christopher Wren building at the uh, college campus of the College of William and Mary.